the Neurocast from Truth Sayers. Simon Stapleton talks with Jeff Fox from Aeon about how to truly understand and support a diverse workforce. What we've discovered through the, the number of different surveys and bits of research we've done that not all issues affect all people in the same way. And particularly when you've got different divisions or teams that are doing different kind of work and, and therefore the, the, the way they operate is very different. And so the issues surface are, are more acute in one than the other. Um, what have you discovered with working with uh, TrueSafe Neurotech around the, the, how you've you've offered advice and help to different parts of the organisation? I think there's no one size fits all approach. I mean, that's always been generally understood that within an organisation, you've always got a degree of diversity. But I think the tool helps you see just that in, in with a, a reality that's not been previously available. So we can sort of go to that granular level and shine a light on who you are, uh, what your needs are, what works for you in a much better, richer way. And, and so for us, the tool just sits as part of a whole suite of tools that we can bring to the table, uh, which frankly, I don't think we were deploying in the best way before. Uh, it, this gives us a way to optimise those, those tools um, and help our clients see the value because we can help measure the impact. I think that's one of the, the, the crucial things for me here is you've got a workforce that they are very diverse. How do you help see the best things that you can do for your workforce? Well, this tool really helps give you that, that vision, that insight into, into the recommendations that can be then brought to the table. I think that's the crucial difference for me. Yeah, particularly when it comes to the, the future of work and, and new operating models, um, uh, which have yet to emerge. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's there's going to be a quite a bumpy two or three years ahead of us where organisations are refocusing and reshaping. And a tool like this uh, is, is going to give early warning for any of those issues that are arising due to that considerable shift in people's work patterns. Um, Jeff, leaders have got, got quite a challenge ahead on how to um, stay up to date and get the insights into what's what these changes are affecting their workforce and and obviously it change can be quite painful for some people what would your advice be to leaders who want to help navigate their teams through that change and and to to do that so it doesn't involve you know more burnout and um, further issues it's a key word that as i was listening to the question there simon that just came to mind and it's the the word of authenticity, I think that's that's what I would yeah. see leaders having to embrace. Uh, and, and that's a big word and it means quite a lot. But for me, in the context of the question, it's about being authentic about who you are and accepting that. You've got strengths, you've got weaknesses, and both should be embraced. I think the idea of the leader is, you know, I know everything, uh, I'm flawless. Uh, follow me and, and all will be well. Yeah. I think the that concept is, needs to change. Being authentic for me is the, is the key word. And I think that ties really nicely to this whole debate that we're having here around having the honesty to go to your employees and use a technique such as the neurotech approach to find out how people really feel because that's authenticity. You can see that in, in the responses that you get. And then using that to then have open, transparent conversations about, about next steps. And I think that's that's the key for me. The, the leaders that are authentic will be the ones that succeed in the, in the sort of post-pandemic world. Uh, it's a tough path. It's not the path that a lot of leaders have taken because sometimes it's just easier to tell, uh, do this. Um, yeah, that, that's the easy path. The hard path is to sort of be authentic and be open and not necessarily know all the answers. but by being inclusive in that way, by bringing people into that, it helps them feel authentic. And I think the business results just flow from there. We have to trust people in this new world where you can't watch everyone every second of the day. You have to trust people. 
And so being authentic as a leader is really how you lead from the front. That's that's the key word that I keep coming back to time and time again, Simon. So Jeff Fox from Aon, thank you very much. Thanks for joining me. You're very welcome, Simon. Speak again soon.